What's up everybody, ASX from ASX TCG here at Real Breaking Nate's 1 million subscriber celebration in Noblesville, Indiana. I'm super excited and uh, things just started to kick off here. So why don't I go ahead and take you inside. Today, I am joined by my lovely wife, Zelda. Hey! And uh, she's here today because the other weekend we went to Real Breaking Nate's 1 million subscribers celebration. And today, we're here to tell you all about it. It all starts with the arrival process, which I gotta say was super, super easy. What did you think about just getting there and getting into the event? Uh, yeah, so we actually got there a little bit on the later side. We did we not, did. We did we not did. start off at the uh, starting point, but I actually yeah. think that worked out in our favor yeah. because we didn't have to wait in line. Yes. So when we got up, uh, we got to the building, it was immediately check in. Walk we got right a in. little stamp to be able to get in and out of the facility. Mm -hmm. um, so it was easy. It was not having to stand in line. Something that was really cool about the check in and something that neither of us were expecting was that we actually did get some goodie bags. Uh, which was very very surprising the event was only $12 So it didn't really expect like much of a goodie bag or anything at all, you know other than just getting in the event um, But we got a couple cool things in there. Uh, there was a uh, we got a couple positive vibes pins uh, That's real breaking Nate's like slogan essentially and then there were also some tickets uh, in there as well that ended up being for games We'll talk about that a little bit later um, but all in all, yeah, the check-in process was super smooth. Um, like Zelda mentioned, we did get there a little bit late. The whole event was from 1 to 5 p.m. And we showed up probably about like 1.15, 1 1.20 1 or so. Um, but it did end up working out in our favor. Yeah, it did, they had enough parking too that we didn't yeah. have to go too far away. It was just on, what kind of facility was it? On it was a yeah it was it was like the noblesville community center but it was actually situated like on what i think was like the high school property of noblesville high school um so yeah there's plenty of parking everything like that um super super easy check-in process so once we checked in we wanted to get uh kind of a layout of the venue see where things were at so once you get into the venue you actually walk down a long hallway and there are two rooms in there there was a trade room and a learn to play room which we didn't know was going to be there we'll get into those a little bit later and then you get into the main uh large room of the venue where kind of everything else was set up um about the same size as like a normal you know high school gym i would say and uh there was a lot of stuff in there that's where the main event was so we had uh, kind of like the photo op area and the stage where they were going to be doing the Shadowless podcast. Uh, kind of on the back wall were a whole bunch of cool Pokemon themed games. We even had the Moonshot Game Store there as well, which was the game store that put this event on and helped Nate get everything set up. Um, there was, of course, concessions there. And, and some tables in the middle for people to sit. Yeah, there were tables in the middle as well for like, you know, everybody to sit and like watch the podcast. And then Nate even had a uh, 90s dollar store, which I thought was kind of cool. Some real 90s themed and real 90s colored kinds of toys and, and candies and stuff. There were Dunkaroos, I think. Um, but yeah, what did you really think about the whole venue, the oh, whole setup and everything? Yeah, I, I definitely liked that it was indoors and in air conditioning. Yeah, that I, was nice. For some reason in my head, I think carnival, I thought outside, but yeah. uh, <laughs> my, my yeah. brain just shoots to outside. But I was happy that it was very hot day. So definitely being yeah. inside with that amount of people, with all the parents and the kids, then mm -hmm. it was definitely beneficial for it to be an indoor facility. Um, the facility was very nice. Like it yeah. looked new. It, didn't it felt look really like, new. Uh huh. And it wasn't like it wasn't. It was the size of a gym, but it wasn't a gym. So there was no basketball courts yeah. or anything. Just big windows. Like an open and rec room, basically. Open rec room. Yeah, with little tiny um, 
rooms, like for the trade and yeah. for the play. Mm -hmm. um, also, it seemed like it was uh, ample enough for everybody there. Oh, yeah. We did have to wrap around a little bit, but within the big event room, we just lined up there. So we, we didn't have to shoot off into the hallway or go off into the other rooms. Yeah. Um, so it was definitely enough space for all the people who were there. Uh, this is actually a sold out event. Uh, I believe there were about 400 tickets, so he did sell out. And uh, what I noticed about the crowd is that it was uh, very family oriented. A lot of families there, a lot of kids there. Uh, there were some people our age as well, but definitely some mostly couples. Uh, some couples. You I know, saw some couples. <laughs> I saw some girlfriends there. <laughs> some, some couples our age, but you know, it was, it was definitely mostly kids. Um, but I felt like you know the the event kind of all over was geared towards everybody. It didn't feel like it was a kids only event or anything like that. Everybody I saw, you know, was having fun. Um, there was, you know, not, not a, not a, you know, a, a sad face in the house. Everybody was smiling from ear no, to ear. No, actually, I was very surprised yeah. that there was no upset children. Yeah. All the kids were well behaved. Very much so. I think every single child that talked to us was very respectful, very nice. Yeah. They, would, they would ask, you know, to, uh, to sit with us, ask if we could borrow something, if we were using the markers when we were doing the craft section. <laughs> yeah. So very, very, very nice kids. Um, it seemed like parents were letting their kids kind of go off and do things on their own. But that was, you know, even with that happening, there were no kids that were not, they were, they were all behaving. Oh, Everyone yeah. was being super, everybody was just excited to be there and to, you know, go through this whole event. Yeah, yeah, like like I said, everybody was having fun and, you know, like Real Breaking Nate said, it was it was positive vibes oh, all 100%, around. Oh, <laughs> 100%, I would say like 100% yeah. positive vibes the whole time. So the first thing that we did was we got in line for the photo shoot. Now, personally, I did not get in line for the photo shoot. <laughs> I was the photographer, so I was there to make sure that he got the best pictures and <laughs> he got a million of them. So definitely. definitely got a good shot. So what do you think of it? Yeah, it was an awesome experience. Um, it, it all kind of happened so fast. So we, oh, yeah, tell them kind of yeah, what happened. So we were kind of just, you know, after we had looked at everything, we were kind of just standing uh, kind of off to the side. I think and, we were just waiting to see, like, what we wanted to do. Yeah, yeah we were kind of yeah, just, like, we figuring out where we wanted to Figuring out what we were going to do first. And what we didn't really realize was we were actually standing in line uh, for the photo opportunity, and we were first in line. Um, so, like, right when that Worked all happened, route. Nate and, you know, Marie and Danny and Jordan all walked out, like, right in front of us. Um, so I was a little bit starstruck uh, right off the bat. Yeah, it was just um, the photo op. So yeah. definitely just a quick, you know. Yeah, but they they were super cool about it. You know, they said, come right on over here. Get in the middle. We're going to take an awesome photo. And you guys will see me cheesing in this picture super hard. I was like. I think you were so starstruck. I was starstruck. <laughs> I was like super excited for it. Um, it was really, really awesome. I'm really glad I got the chance to take that picture with them. So after cheesing really, really hard in that picture with all of them, that's when we got a really good chance to go around and actually check things out. So. Uh, one of the first things we did was actually walk over to the game section because I noticed that they were all Pokemon themed and I really wanted to see what they all were. And uh, I kind of had made some predictions. Um, I don't know if that clip actually made it in the uh, video I made before this about this event, but I, I was thinking that there were going to be two specific games there. One being a Magikarp themed game where you'd actually toss like a ping pong ball into a little fish bowl. And the other one was like a Moo Moo milk game where you'd actually knock down some, some milk jugs. Um, and to my surprise, they were actually there. Both of those games, exactly what I thought they were gonna be, were there. Um, but there were some other games too. I remember like a Gengar game. Um, there was like a little putt-putt game too where the golf balls were like kind of painted like Pokeballs. Um, what else? Do you remember the, any of the other games that were there? Not exactly sure. There was I mean, like a Froakie flip, I think, was one something. of them. Or flipping a frog, needed, I don't know. You needed a couple, <laughs> maybe a ticket or so to play yeah. the games. Uh, we we gave that. our tickets away to children because they looked yeah. like they were having a lot of fun. So <laughs> we gave our tickets away to them. So we didn't get a chance to play the games, right. but we did get a chance to check them out. Yeah, so it was super cool uh, game section that they had set up there. I think there was probably eight to ten games total. Um, but that's not all. We got a chance to take a look at the Moonshot Game Store. Um, there was a huge line for it, so I didn't end up buying anything till the very end. But from what I could see, they had pretty much any type of product that you wanted uh, from the you know modern sets that are out right now. I would say at least from the last three or four sets. They had just about everything, even some celebrations boxes there, which were perfectly themed for the celebration that we were at. 
Um, so that was really cool and the prices were great. They were all MSRP. Uh, I think they had a couple things that were actually below MSRP, some of the, their supplies and stuff like that. So huge shout out to Moonshot Game Store, not only for putting on the event, um, but bringing a lot of stock so we could all have some fun and rip some packs alongside Nate. Kind of in the middle of the event, brought out some older packs as well, which I thought was cool. Some XY era packs that they ended up selling. Um, the other thing too I thought was really neat uh, was Nate's Dollar Store. Uh, it was all 90s themed stuff. Uh, they even had some like 90s themed candy. I remember seeing like like everybody eating Dunkaroos oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, at the event. So that was really cool. Um, so they definitely didn't have people starving. You know? No, no, nobody was starving. They had the concessions I didn't mention, but you know, snacks, basically chips, drinks, things like that for you. Um, and then there was the arts and crafts table, which that's, we haven't really talked about yet, but that my, was your favorite part. That was my favorite part. So yeah, I am not as, I wasn't as into the event, so I definitely needed something to do while, <laughs> you know, he was listening to the podcast. So uh, at the arts and crafts table, they had a couple of things you could do. So one of the fun things that I, I didn't want, I didn't want to be embarrassed, but I, <laughs> you could make headbands. You could have had a Jigglypuff crown. I know, I know, I know, but I, I didn't want to embarrass myself, so I didn't get the Jigglypuff crown. But yeah, so you can make these crowns or headbands and uh um they also had a couple other things i do have them here so i will show you guys Some, like, so we activity had, sheets yeah activity sheets so we had like a deep reef uh, maze. maze we got vaporeon on top then we have a word search i didn't get a chance to finish it i'm almost <laughs> done okay <laughs> well, find finish. the words if you guys can <laughs> and then who's this that's mankey oh sorry mankey and then another word search this one i did finish so yeah accomplished that one nice <laughs> And then uh, my favorite thing was doing the bookmark. And definitely I'm going to laminate this one and then put it. Uh, a Moltres on there? Yes, a Moltres on here. So uh, me and this one little girl, we sat next to each other. And we just talked the whole time. She was asking me about how excited I was and how excited she was to be there. And how Nate's her favorite YouTuber. So it was definitely cute uh, yeah. talking to the children. And yeah. how excited they were too. So definitely fun thing to have. It was just you know, something fun for I think any age to go do because I has I saw adults doing yeah. the crafts. I saw children doing the crafts. A lot of children wanted to make crafts and give them to Nate or Marie oh, yeah. or Danny. Like yeah, it was time consuming. Yeah, waiting for the next event to start, which uh, kind of leads us into the next thing here with the Shadowless Podcast. Little did we know. We were kind of in a really cool spot for the podcast. So. Yes, yeah. So I was, we were already in the craft section because that's yep. what I was doing. Right next to this podcast stage. And although there were. I think there were enough seats for every single person, mm -hmm. but not every single person was sitting next to each other correctly. Yeah. So there were spaces in between that I thought that, you know, it was like a family and then maybe one chair. So we weren't, we couldn't get a chance to sit in the area in front of the podcast. Yeah. So we were kind of sat on the side of it. Yeah. You guys will see some clips here. Um, but the Shadowless Podcast was live. This was the first time that they ever did a Shadowless Podcast live, so it was a bit of an experiment. Um, but it actually turned out to be really, really good. I actually listened to, yeah. uh, listened back to it, and uh, the quality tried, was great. I was gonna say I tried listening to myself. I yelled, <laughs> I yelled woohoo, and then I yelled uh, bagel bites a couple bagel times. bites, but we didn't hear it in the audio. <laughs> no, so. we, we couldn't hear that in the audio. But it was really cool. You know, they pretty much did their standard podcast. Uh, it was a lot of talk about Pokemon Go. Um, we got to see actually the really special edition Cubone Bearwalker skateboard that he ended up giving to Jordan Fringe because that's his favorite Pokemon. So that was really cool to see. Um, but yeah, all in all, I thought the podcast went really, really well. Um, they seemed to have a lot of fun with it. Got to watch Nate eat some eggs that Jordan Fringe pulled out of his pocket. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, it was like to an see. inside joke going on yeah, over there. Yeah, it was it was interesting to see, but uh quite funny but all in all the the podcast was really fun yeah uh just for me just where we were at the sound wasn't traveling very well so it was like yeah off a couple of we walls. sat in a rough spot for the audio so side of it it. <laughs> it was definitely a little more difficult to, for me at least to hear it so i definitely heard the most in the when we heard the podcast later on in the week oh yeah yeah definitely had to lis listen back to it um on Spotify to, you know, really hear everything that exactly, they were saying, exactly. um, you know, cause it was a little bit tough. We essentially were sitting, like you said, kind of behind the speakers a little bit, but uh, as you'll see in those clips, it pretty much seemed like we were like, had a backstage pass kind of, cause we were like right off to the side of them. Yeah, I, felt like away. We the, I feel like we were the VIP where we could have <laughs> yeah. even like maybe like high five them on the, yeah, way, right? on the way up. Yeah, that actually one thing that I didn't mention, uh, you'll, you'll probably have seen the clip already, but when they walked in, they walked right past us cause we were at the arts and crafts table. So I did get a clip of them all walking in. That was really cool. And then uh, after the event, as they were kind of closing up, 
um, we had noticed that a line was starting to form kind of like right by us. And then we realized that was for like where the meet and greet area was going to be. Uh, so immediately I got right in line because I didn't want to miss out on that. And as they were coming off the stage from the podcast, they literally walked right past us again. And uh, I got a chance to tell Nate, great job on the podcast. And he turned around and said, thanks. Uh, so that was a really cool uh, tiny like mini reaction uh, or mini uh, interaction. I guess that was like super cool to me. Um, but yeah, then uh, we kind of just waited for the meet and greet. And next was the moment we had all been waiting for, which was the meet and greet with Nate, Marie, Danny, and Jordan. And I gotta say, we we got right in line in the perfect spot because I think we were only waiting maybe ten or fifteen minutes. I know they uh, had they had suggested us like kind of mm. spread out and maybe like some people go play and some people yeah. go trade and you know just kind of give people a chance to like go through the line, go experience everything. Yeah, but we were like, nah, we're gonna go right to the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we uh, were like, no, thank you. Like you said, <laughs> uh, we are gonna stay right here so we have a good shot at meeting them. Uh, while they're still fresh. While they're still fresh, right? Yeah, not, not tired. Not at the end when they had met like you know 400 people already you guys will see the clip coming up here but the first people that we got to meet were jordan fringe and super duper danny i'm so sorry jordan i didn't know who your favorite pokemon was so i had to bring a side it's okay i turned into a duck <laughs> and then i was hoping enough Okay, I'm going to give you a choice of pack that you want. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Any one of them, go for it. That's the one. Do you want to sign All right, the card? I'm going to go Brilliant Stars too. Yo, am I the only one that chose Cosme? What? I, w- I didn't want to choose all the Cosmics, all right? It's, you only choose that if you need to and then you went for it. I got to I gotta hold off. All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, to the growling end. Good. All right. Best of luck to you both. Best of luck. What are you hoping for from Cosmic? Anything. Any character. Any character. I have a good feeling about that. I just recently pulled the Pikachu character, so I'm hoping some good luck for you guys. All right. Get something good here. All right. Here we go. This one on an energy. Purple pass. All right. Ponyta. No, this is yeah, I was gonna say it's not energy. I'm messing Shroomish, up. <laughs> throw, cast form, fresh water set here, and I got the more Pico V. Oh, guys, you won. You won. Watch this oh. for the win. Oh! oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a super playable card. Yeah. But he looks angry. He does. He's very angry. This is a very chill card. That will stop at nothing to eat. So, I'm going to say, awesome. Awesome. You, well, you guys that. are free to keep those, those hits or all the cards uh, if you like to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all up to you. I mean, it's only a dozen. Congratulations on winning. <laughs> there you go. I feel like, I don't know. You want me to keep it? You want to keep it. You know you want to keep it. Thank you guys so much. That was super awesome. Thank you for the signature. Hey, thank, thank you for the inspiration as well. Thanks for coming through. It's so awesome. Thank you guys for coming the show. Oh, Hopefully, the podcast was fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 I listened to the podcast as well, like outside of this. So it was awesome seeing it live and just kind of experiencing that. And good to see you guys live too, and not just on the stream. It's super cool. So. I was going to say, Everybody's they're real. real. I, touched, I touched them. He's real. He's <laughs> real. <laughs> Um, I just got to say right off the bat, they were both very, very nice. Uh, I had them sign um, some cards. Unfortunately, I didn't have a Cubone uh, for Jordan, so I had him sign a Psyduck. Uh, But I did get a Growlithe for Danny to sign. Kind of just, you know, talked with them back and forth a little bit. And kind of at the end of that uh, interaction with them, Danny actually gave us a couple of her custom Super Duper Danny cards. You'll hear me shocked and surprised because I I didn't expect it. We had already talked to her to them a little bit and then we mm-hmm. were kind of moving we we're in a weird zone where we we're right in the middle of both of them we're yeah, like uh it was and, marie, awkward for a second. and I was like, marie was waiting to talk to us too so she was yeah. in the middle of like trying to figure out where who she was yeah. going to talk to it's kind of an awkward moment and then there they, for a second she slid it to us and i'm like ah! yeah you know because i i like free things and i thought that was so nice of uh of her to you know give us that little get, get little trinket little gift yeah and another thing i forgot to mention as well that actually happened right before that was i was able to do a pack battle oh yeah uh, with both of them as well 
Um, it came down to it. Both Jordan and I, we actually all had white and green code cards, which was cool. We all got a hit. Uh, but Jordan and I pulled a, a couple of V cards. Super Duper Danny pulled a hollow out of Cosmic Eclipse. So I think Jordan won. I think his card was a little bit better uh, than, than mine. But uh, anyways, they had me sign uh, their hits, which I thought was really cool. Oh, yeah, um, that was super sweet of them. It made that. me feel really special that like they wanted a signature from me. Uh, I don't know if they kept them or not but it made me feel really special in the moment i like to think that they kept it and sitting in their like (laughs) right on their nightstand right yeah something like really special um that's what we're gonna hope uh but yeah so uh like you said there was kind of that little bit of an awkward moment in between a little bit of a lull where nate was doing a pack battle um you know with a younger kid it was taking a little bit longer so yeah and that kind of gave me a chance to talk to maria a little bit yeah yeah so a little little, uh wife (laughs) one-on-one yeah yeah so you you definitely got a chance to ask maria a question or two there um and then it was finally time uh to be face to face with the star of the show real breaking i mean you can't see it because we're in masks but like his smile is from here to like over here my, my smile was about to bust out of that mask, <laughs> for sure. All right, here we go. I can't mess it up. Oh, yes, that is for you, Marie. Okay. And then I was hoping we could do a pass. Absolutely. And I got a couple oh, different yeah. packs you guys can choose. Marie, you can do She wants the black one. Whichever one you're going to try. All right, there's Beautiful. the card. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna go cosmic flip. Go for it. I love go cosmic flip. I'm gonna do brilliant stars. I'm hoping for that rainbow Charizard. All right, so rainbow Charizard out of there is what we're looking for. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would like to see maybe that alternate art, the Alga Palkia. That would be awesome. That's an absolutely beautiful card. Arceus. All right, here we go. Let's go straight to it. See what we got here. See who wins. We got that not to. Suck in. And. Oh! All right, Marie wins. Marie wins. <laughs> Ladies! And if you'd like, Marie, you can keep that same in full art as well. Wow. It's all yours. Thank you! Thank you. Oh, thank you. If I keep, I need signatures. I can sign that journey for you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That is such a pretty card, too. Uh-oh. Coming up a little weird. Yeah, there's the texture on that and like the gloss finish kind of creates a little bit of weird. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, I'm shaving that pack battle. I'll sign this deal. Ah, ah, ah. Anybody? Biggest signature of the day, though. I don't know, mine's a little bit bigger than that. So like. So my husband's... Oh, biggest signature you did today. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. You've been such an inspiration. Such an inspiration to him, for sure. I watch you all the time. All the time. Well, thank you. Hey, just have fun with it. Yeah, that's just have fun with it. Enjoy, enjoy your journey. Upload things that you want to upload. You know, have fun. That's all. That's what I always tell people. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love the podcast and everything as well. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, so, you know, naturally, uh, I had the cards for them to sign, uh, gave real breaking Nate a hidden fates reverse Psyduck, probably the best Psyduck I had in my collection. So I had to get the signature on that one, um, brought a Eevee for Marie to sign as well. You guys will see those. Um, but what I was really most nervous about other than talking with him, cause like I was like adrenaline was going, I was like kind of shaking a little bit, uh, was the pack battle as well. I, I, I wanted to win, but I also wanted him to win. Cause it was like his celebration. I had a lot going on in my mind at that point. Um, but set the packs out on the table. I had one cosmic eclipse left. I was really hoping he was going to take that one and he did. Um, but, uh, when it came down to it, Marie took us, uh, t- <laughs> took us for a ride. She won Lady. by far in that pack battle. I think she pulled a full art shaman. Me and Nate pulled two non hollows, so it was nothing crazy at all. Um, they had me sign some cards as well. Unfortunately, you I don't tell know. Them, you want to tell them what happened? Oh, my <laughs> in gosh. his excitement. So in my excitement, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Marie wanted me to sign her shaman, which. I will say, don't write on full art cards with a Sharpie. It really does not turn out well. I learned that in the moment, and it was so sad. Um, But the worst part was, when it came time to sign a card for Nate, there really wasn't a hit in his pack, like I said. And he was, you know, kind of, he just kind of slid his cards over to to me because I was going to take the bulk. 
and the first card that I saw on top was a common deerling. <laughs> and I don't know why this came out of my mouth. I had one of those moments where in your head you're saying, don't say it, don't say it. And then it just word vomits out of your mouth. And I turn to him and I say, hey, I'll sign that deerling for you. <laughs> Who signs a deerling, a common deerling? It's like the Christmas story. For was... real breaking Nate. And I signed the deerling for him. <laughs> it's like the Christmas story yeah. when the voice is a bad word and it says a slow motion. <laughs> fudge. <laughs> but I didn't say Sign fudge. I said I'd sign the deerling for you. So <laughs> that was my kind of epic fail moment that I did have uh, at this event. But I tried to save it real quick uh, by letting Nate know just how much of a huge inspiration he is to me. And, you know, how I love watching his videos and, you know, how how I love how he comments back on, on not only so many of my comments that I make on his videos, but he goes back and comments on as many as he possibly can. And I think that's, you know, a huge part of who he is and, you know, kind of, you know, why everybody really, really likes him and why he's gotten to a million subscribers. It's just the kind of person that he is a uh, fantastic personality. How like, did you feel like what was the vibes coming off of him when, yeah. when you met him? Positive vibes, like that is not a lie. Like it is all positive vibes. Like he looked a little tired, but I he did look I, a little bit tired naturally. <laughs> naturally. Like I'm sure he was up all night, like excited about this event. But one thing that I really noticed and like what really was like awesome to me was he was no different than in person than he is in his videos. Um, yeah, I didn't, so, see, like, I didn't see any diva, so no, 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 not no at diva all. at all. Not at all. So actually, none of them were divas. None of them. No, because everything of them. was run really well. And we'll kind of talk about that, I think, at the end here. But yeah, it was just positive vibes all around. Like he was an awesome person, and like what I expected him to be like going in there was exactly uh, how he, how he, you know, acted, how he, you know, presented himself. Uh, and that was the case for everybody there. Jordan Fringe, Super Duper Danny, Marie as well. We get to see her a lot in his videos. Uh, and Nate, all awesome, genuine people. Uh, and it was a fantastic time meeting them. So once we were done meeting and greeting everybody, we had some time to kill. We definitely had like maybe like an hour left before the hour. event was officially over yeah. so we did bring some packs for us to uh break open you yeah. can tell more about that because i don't know what happened <laughs> yeah we, we brought a, we brought some packs um those were the packs that i used for the um for the pack battles with with the nate and everybody um but we had a couple left we had uh just a couple chilling rain of course nobody wanted the chilling rain um so we got to open those at the end but i also did end up buying a few packs from Moonshot Games as well. I got a uh, uh, three pack of Astral Radiance. Um, so you guys will see a couple clips of that uh, here. But um, yeah, I got to say, anytime that I pack battle you, it's a huge L for me. Like I lose every single time and you pull an amazing card or two yeah, every single yeah, what time. Yeah, what did I end up getting? You got a, uh, a full art Starmie. I don't know how you do it. Every single time, it's I, I just go in to these pack battles knowing that I'm going to lose, but at least you're going to get an awesome pull. Yeah. So once we were done pack battling, we did have uh, we did look at the time and it was getting close to the time for the event to finish. Officially close to 5 o'clock when it was supposed to finish, yeah. But... When we looked at the clock and we looked at the line, that line looked like they still had about yeah. 45 minutes. The line to go minutes. through oh, the sorry, meet and for, greet. For the meet and greet, yeah. yes. So although the event did need to end at five, um, we're we're pretty sure that they stayed a little bit longer than that. Because I think we even stayed till like maybe f a little past five a little bit. I think it was a little bit, yeah, probably five, like 5.15 five, five, or something, maybe mm -hmm. 5.30 or so. And yeah, like you said, there's we were still trying to a line we were, we were trying to hold back a little bit to see if we could maybe help, you know, break <laughs> see, down you things. Know, you maybe, know. maybe get a little extra, you know, FaceTime with Nate or something. Yeah. You know, like a little groupies in the back. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but no, yeah. it, we seemed, we, it looked like they were going to take a long time. And knowing yeah. that they were going to take a longer time meant that they were probably going to be really tired afterwards oh yeah for sure like yeah when we took a look and the line was literally still like wrapped around there's still three sides to the line um yeah we we knew it was going to probably around six or so um but what the reason why it ended up going that late is because nate wanted to make sure that every single person there that wanted to go up and meet him and you know get a signature and talk with had him a little quality bit experience. had a quality experience and got a chance to go do that um so i i guarantee he did stay there till the very end we ended up you know, kind of getting out of there. Uh, we were hungry. The dog we were was hungry. at the hotel. Yes. So you know, we didn't mention, we did have the doggo with us, uh, you know, so she needed to be taken care of. Um, you know, so we did end up deciding to leave and, you know, let everybody else have their time with Nate, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but there was one nice little last thing oh, yeah. that we, we got. Uh, I think his, your last little up. wish. <laughs> My last little wish. Um, so 
uh, as you guys probably saw in that little pack battle clip we basically had the table where they were doing the meet and greet right behind us um so that's where we left the event from and as we were walking out i was like hey i just i want to say bye to nate real quick i want to see if he says anything um so we kind of walked a little close to the table on our way out and you know just said you know bye nate bye marie we had a great time thank you for all you know putting on the event and uh at first i didn't think they heard me but there was a delay there was a there, there was like a millisecond delay uh, but then they both turned to us and, you know, both, you know, waved really, you know, said happy you. and said thank you. And, you know, thanks for coming out. Thanks for making it to the event. Uh, so that was like the last kind of cherry on the top uh, for me there uh, of the event. Just, you know, having him turn and, you know, acknowledge me one last time uh, and say goodbye and say thanks for coming out. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that was the event. That was the event. That's how that's how it all ended. And we we packed it up, got back to the doggo and, and, and headed home. So. Uh, I just want to kind of get your thoughts on, you know, kind of the overall event. You know, what what were some things that you thought went really well? Was there anything that, you know, thought might might have went a little bit better? I don't know. I felt like everything was well organized. Yeah. It With the event being so focused on him, mm -hmm. you know, I, I could see how it was difficult for maybe sometimes for him to go to one place to another. But I think it was so streamlined that everyone got a chance to meet him. Everyone got a chance yeah. to photo op. Everyone who wanted to get something from Moonshot got something from Moonshot. Everybody yeah. who was playing games got a chance to play the game. So like every single step of the way there were, you know, it was very streamlined. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody missed out on anything no, from no. what I could see. Like you mentioned earlier, there wasn't, you know, a sad face in the house. No kids were upset. Um, lots and lots of packs being opened, which was really cool. Um, I think you know all in all overall i think the event was fantastic such an amazing event even as like i said even as a person that wasn't a isn't a you know a really big into pokemon i enjoyed it i left feeling you know super excited happy my adrenaline was pumping you know Definitely. i felt i felt super positive like you said positive eyes I'm yeah. super positive eyes coming out of there nate put on a fantastic event uh i hope he does these types of we'll events be there at the next one again in the future because i know we'll definitely be there um it, it was great i hope he does you know more live podcasts as well um but yeah i just gotta say you know nate if you do see this uh thank you, thank you so much for putting on the event we had an absolutely fantastic time meeting you marie jordan and danny as well everybody was so great and uh i can't wait till you guys do the next one all right you guys so that was our experience going to real breaking nate's one million subscriber celebration yeah, it was super cool, and I hope you guys had a fun time watching this video here. Uh, it wasn't quite the vlog style video that I had hoped it was going to be, but uh, I think we got you guys a, a real nice, uh, you know, look at it, and uh, hopefully we explained, you know, really how the event went, um, you know, to you guys as well. So uh, if you've not already, definitely leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and on your way out, tap that notification bell so you can be notified of when all my next videos come out. I do Pokemon openings mostly here on YouTube, and I would love for you to be a part of the channel here as well. So guys, until next time, I'll see ya. Peace.